I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Ty Taylor breaks down on live. Zoe responds to Jalen threats. Oh, let's get it. So he FaceTimed her during his concert. Wait, wait, wait. Carmen wasn't able to make it to Big Boogie concert, so he FaceTimed her during his concert. <laughs> I genuinely think Big Boogie treats all his women good. And to be honest, I don't think Carmen minds being in the woman lineup. That's why. To be honest, if a man is, is well, a lot of y'all, if a man is treating you right, it's a lineup. And I mean baby mamas, things that you just kind of can't control. Don't nobody want him beefing with his baby mama. <laughs> I don't want to beef with your baby mama either. If we all can get along, fuck it. But if you don't care, then that's a better situation than you being in a bad situation, I guess. <laughs> Jalea Royalty's daughter recently did a Q&A and a clip from her Q&A is trending. Would I get a BBL? No. That's, that's just, just destroying your body. For what? So you can look better? Even though you'll probably look worse on them lumps in your booty? Like, like it's so weird because people will literally do anything to look better and change the way how their body was made. Corey had this to say about Chris Sales after he included him in his Clockin' with Chris video. Look at Chris. Y'all see I'm Wait, wait, wait. Don't his um don't Jalea mama have a BBL? Don't Royalty got a BBL? Don't Royalty got a BBL? <laughs> <coughs> yes. You know, like Chris. Man, I'm so sad he turned into a T page clocking with Chris. This he gotta join the bitch. Don't put my name in none of your boy. Tell that stop putting my name on his mom. Tell him. Tell him. I need to hire that nigga. Come be my mom security guard. Nigga. Somebody tell Chris Seal that. Nigga said he done turned into the bitches. <laughs> Yo. Look at Chris. Y'all say I'm in like Chris. Man, I'm so sad he turned into a T page. Clock it with Chris. This, he got to join the bitch. Don't he got to join the bitch. Tell that stop putting my name on his mom. Tell him. Tell him. I need to hire that nigga. Come be my mom security guard. Nigga. Somebody tell Chris Seal. Let me hire him so he can be my, my security guard. You should, you, you should be in the no, no, no chair. Talk about some clocky with Chris. Yeah, clocky, clocky with Chris. Corey going out sad. No, I ain't going out sad. Shit. You going out sad. You a T page. <laughs> but y'all would never see me turn into a T page. Never in your life. Corey's still here. Oh no, Corey ain't my twin. Corey been tweaking. I'm just glad y'all messing with Corey and not me no more. I'm glad I'm getting on y'all good side again. You feel me? <laughs> I was tired of y'all messing it's with me. It's only been 10 years. <laughs> picking on me and me. Y'all know I was more I, I, I was most committed because y'all was bullying me. You feel me? Hey, did you see that Danny posted about Sherelle? Yeah, we go, we about to get into it. Now y'all can pick on him. I'm just happy. Chris L's case with Park is now officially closed and recently he just finished probation so he decided to tell what really happened between him and Parker. Yo, story time. I still see comments like what, what happened to Parker? I'm not gonna lie. What Chris is doing I'm with it 100%. My only problem is your baby mama alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. Sure, da, 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 this happened to Parker. And oh, I want to tell you my side of the story since I can talk about it now and I'm not on probation for it no more. I want to talk about this. All right. So for those who don't know who Parker is, Parker is somebody I used to date a minute ago. Anyways. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell y'all what I did first because I'm gonna take responsibility. I smacked the fuck out of her. Yes, I did. You wanna know why? First of all, she used to punch. She was punching me, spitting on me, beating me the fuck up. She fucking hit me so hard. I swear to God, it was one punch. I didn't even see it. I turned around. She hit me so hard. She said, "Bitch." I said, <laughs> "Yeah," and I did. I'm not even gonna lie. Like she literally smacked the shit out of me. But anyways. The reason why she did that, I'm not even gonna get into that long guy story, but she got jealous. She used to get jealous a lot when it comes to females. And no, I never cheated on Parker ever a day in my life. Chris, that's a lie. First of all, one thing about this nigga is he's a half truth teller as well. This nigga's a hoe. 
Every chance he get, he like to put that shrimp in some cocktail sauce. Some guy. So he like to put his shrimp everywhere, but like to make the women feel like he ain't putting his shrimp in cocktail sauce. You get what I'm saying? What I like about Big Boogie is he letting you know that shrimp going somewhere else. Let me tell you something. Y'all line up. I'm going to treat all y'all like queens. <laughs> okay. But every once in a while, this dick going to go somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> well, I think if women got the choice, they could decide whether they want to deal with something or not. Some women just do. Do I like it? No, I don't care for it, but some women just do. They just deal with certain shit. Ain't none of my business, okay? But don't gaslight me and act like you ain't out here sticking that shrimp and cocktails off. That's all I'm saying. Um, she used to just get jealous of uh, females in public and I would talk to them and females coming up. She used to get a whole bunch of jealous and me following females, but physically child never cheated on her. So she had no reason to be jealous. I know I'm sexy. I know I look good, but it is what it is. But like I said, she used to beat the fuck out of me. And that, that's not her first time though. She used to really, really like put her, put her hands on me, like spit on me, punch me. And on me, girl, I'm knocking you out. Man or not, I'm knocking you out. Boy, you through. Do not ever spit on me. Oh, my God. That give me all the reason to do you so dirty. I would do you so bold if you spit on me. Oh, my God. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I have my son in my hand, too. Oh. You know, I never really talked about this whole situation, but she, when the situation, and I end up smacking her back, and I end up getting in trouble for it. But I take my responsibility. I'm a grown, you know, I'm a man. At the end of the day, I don't I don't condone physical abuse um, from no parties, you feel me? But I mean, living you learn at the end of the day, you know. But I ain't gonna lie. If I knew I was going to jail, I should've punched her. I only smacked her. <laughs> they locked me up because I smacked her. I said, damn. If I would have known that, I would have been in that bit. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But Kyle, oh, you did ass here. Corey and Maddie both covered each other's name tattoo and is now officially moving on. And don't get Danny name yet. What they told me. <laughs> they said. They said don't get Danny name yet. Oh, don't get Danny name. Why do I hear this twice? <laughs> Hold on, hey Sam just texted me. He said, "Man, but why you go nah. out for that? That's gonna start her off again." They be laughing, but they be having. Hey, like, point point hurt. Hey, hey, hurt. Why do I hear him twice? Was he live on TikTok? Is this TikTok or Facebook? Hey, bro. Oh yeah. Hold on, this shit gonna hurt, bro. Oh, it's his shit. Start that motherfucker up again. Yeah, my BBL done wrong. That motherfucker. But yeah. Also, Maddie released a video showing her ex-husband proposing to her. Maddie, right, please do a story telling me what happened or anybody that heard the story comment below. I never reacted to this. They have a reward for all their labor. People were like, get married. Get married, please. Everybody y'all talking about not marrying anymore. <laughs> and when they fall, his companion would lift him up. <laughs> you are my companion. And in order for me to have two, not one, imagine a laundry circle. <laughs> Jaden and Cardo's video. I don't really get in the mess like that, y'all, for real. I don't do mess. Um, one thing about it, uh, I've never really done mess. I talk about mess on Messy Monday, but that's only when it's like, you know, people are putting their mess out there. But as far as like messy, y'all have never seen me messy. Y'all have never seen, I've never gotten into it with any social media creators. Even when they've stole some of my content, when they've, you know, talked about me, 
I've never like really been in anything. That's one thing about me. And I've been in this shit for 14 years. And y'all can never say Zoe has ever fought nobody, done nothing. But one, because people probably apologized, or two, I just ain't seen you yet. <laughs> so so uh yeah. But um Yeah. I just don't I don't initiate mess. But one thing I do do is I know how to um I know how to bag shit up. You know what I'm saying? As people should. But I don't I don't start I don't go looking for mess. Stay tuned for Messy Monday. Y'all leave y'all comments down below when it comes to that. But let's talk about Ty Taylor because she broke down on live when she realized she's getting closer to the end of her pregnancy. Please send Ty lots of love and words of encouragement. I think because I'm almost at the finish line, I'm starting to have like doubts and starting to just like, you know, feel like I'm not good enough to be a mom oh, or I'm no. just not... I don't know, like, I'm just in a space where I'm just, like, overthinking everything. Like, what if I don't do things right? Or what if... Uh, excuse me. Excuse my question, y'all. Uh, what's this called? What is... What she's going through, what is this called, y'all? What word y'all think I want to say? Free post. I was about to call it prepartum. <clears throat> I was gonna call it prepartum for sure, ski. Pre post. Got it. I was about to call it prepartum. Parent for perinatal depression. I don't know how to say it. All right, prepartum. I got it. I'm not. I'm not as ready as I thought I was, or what if I'm just, what if I fucking crash out? Like, I don't know, I'm just like, you got really this, in deep thought. And it sounds crazy, but it's like, my whole pregnancy, I haven't really, I don't wanna say depressed, but I just haven't had like a, a deep, deep thought moment. And it's like, it's all hitting me like just now. Like I've been pregnant this whole time, but it hasn't registered to me that I'm about to be a mom yet. And it's like, as the days are winding down and I'm actually going to my visits and they're telling me like, you know, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there. I'm Scaring just thinking the hell out of all negative shit. Hmm. And I've been trying to clean my mind clean my space and think positive so i can you know feel feel uplifted when i do have my baby but it's just like how do you fight off those you know those those thoughts like where do you how do you i don't think you can i, I ain't gonna lie y'all outside of having a, a a baby um Physically, <laughs> I was always afraid of postpartum. And I also was always afraid I wouldn't be a good mom because um, the lady that had me wasn't there for me. Um, but, you know, having kids, well, co-parenting with, co-parenting with kids. Um, I know now that I would not be a bad mom. However, I don't know how I would do in like the toddler stage. Like I know dogs are not the same. We we try and say that like a puppy is like taking care of a child, but it's actually not. Them motherfuckers, baby take at least a year to walk, okay? Puppies instantly know how to walk, okay? Let's talk about that. That's number one. Number two, um... Babies poop in a diaper. Puppies poop on your carpet. You know what I'm saying? Instantly a different problem. So, you know, I ain't gonna get on my nerves sometimes. I don't know how I would be able to deal with a toddler or something. I don't know how I would do with that. And I might be great, but I wouldn't know. You, how do you, it ain't gonna find out, cause I don't want that no more. You get back to the... <clears throat> the happy space to where you're like excited about being a mom and not drained or overwhelmed or overthinking or insecure 
about getting ready to be a mom. I just... You know what? I'm a living proof. I don't have the patience. I think until you experience it, it's a different type of love and you get past that. Okay, bad moms don't have that fear that they're a bad mom. Only good moms do. I like that. Um, however, if she's been sad the whole time, that's another thing. Nah, she said the sadness just now hitting her. I can't believe all the fucking done caught up to me. Ty. <laughs> like I'm really about to be somebody mama. <laughs> All that fucking I caught up to me is hilarious. You gotta get it together. <clears throat> it's okay. Golly. Uh, now, how do you delete cards off? What? Hey, Everything happens for a reason. Oh, here we go. Right? Ah. Ah. The lemons that life throws at you and make ah. a lemon drop. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm knowing this video. Love you. I appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.